Hey, what's going on, y'all? Look, we back with another one. It's the Rock Bros. I'm your host, Cordell Rocks. Kyle with the Clippers. As you know, we put the handles to the top so y'all can follow, like it, subscribe, um, especially if you, you know, like the content that we dropping for y'all. Um, but in this one, we finna go over the rumor that Kawhi Leonard is actually about to be a Laker, y'all. Let me tell y'all. This is just me being a real nigga, <laughs> all right? Because I'm a real nigga. This is just me they being want, they want. I do not want to see this, okay? This would be the greatest team ever assembled, obviously. But I feel like we have more than enough star power in L.A. right now to win a championship. Now, if Brown want to win six, seven, eight chips, I get it. All right, bring Kawhi Leonard to the, you know, you know, to the team. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Rich Paul is talking to Kawhi Leonard's uncle Dennis like, yo, come on, now, no more game sevens. Just come over here, let's win these ships gracefully. But uh, I, I just, I, I honestly, I don't see it happening, y'all. Man, uh, I want to see it happen, me personally, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Why? I feel like LeBron, he deserved it, man. You know what I'm saying? He deserved to get, you know, four more rings. I, I believe LeBron goal is to have more rings than Jordan. Cause then, like all that, you know, like who's the greatest of all time? That uh, that shouldn't even be a question at that point, you know. Especially dealing with, you know, Kobe and Jordan and LeBron. Like people are gonna always have something to say about LeBron. And, and you know, if he if he assembled this team, or if they get this team assembled to where Kawhi go over there, you know what I'm saying? Kawhi, AD, and LeBron James. I feel like, bro, they <laughs> they have around and rain the whole four years. I'm about making it. Thunderstorm through there, and, and you know and, and, uh, we seen what, we seen that with Golden State, right? And right. What, what happened? It's payback. Okay. What, I'm saying okay. what happened though. They uh, became uh, public enemies. Uh, we understand of, of the world. Like everybody hated them. We understand. But but as you my, can see, that's okay. <laughs> but but here's the thing though. Miami won two back back to back championships. And they were the world's the hated team. They were the world's hated team. They hated Brian. They didn't hate. The, they didn't. Ha D Wade was. They always felt like he was a Dean guy team. It's like how. You know what I'm saying? D-Wade I mean, like, always D-Wade, yeah, right. You know, like, but... So they hated Brian. He was the number one hated athlete on the planet at that time. But right, right. nobody was rooting against the success of, like, okay, okay. Dwayne Wade individually. Like, yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> and even when Kobe won back to back titles in 09, 2010, like, nobody hate the world didn't hate Kobe. But this Golden State shit, we got sick of this shit, all right? We've been in the last five finals. We won That's what four. I'm saying. Like, we, like, I'm, the shit's I'm like, like, I'm like, fed up with this Golden State shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and Kawhi obviously had, you know, uh, had set that, you know, uh, uh, set that to the side pretty much of all that Warrior stuff, man. But now it's really like LeBron time. But you do got to take into account it's, that they three had three men down. Three men wasn't there. What was up, It had been the same story. Because Clay Thompson was hot in game cool. six. He was fucking hot. I realize if I believe if he would have still been in the game, it would have been a game seven. Understandable. But so with Kevin Durant out there, they whole team there, what do you think that series would have looked like? It would have still been more going to state. But I, I I completely understand what you're saying. But do you remember back when the Golden State Warriors fought up against the Cleveland Cavaliers and Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love went down with LeBron James was in the finals? And no one, and I mean no one, quote, literally said nor talked about his team going like everybody was going for the war. Everybody was saying that Stephen Curry is the best nigga in the league, and it's like you're right, you're right. And you what? know what, Steph? That's you know? actually, um, you know that that's 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 kind of a shot at you. You get it? Like LeBron had to, you know, will his team. So he was like, in the position bro, of will your I team. Couldn't I couldn't believe what I was. I realized not. that if he would have made that shot, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Right? Like, probably not. Have this conversation. Probably not. You know, because <laughs> he was uh, like, it, it, it was a missed shot. He, he had an opportunity to win the game with a shot. Yeah, so like. You came a hair, like you know, what I'm saying, close to beating them. Like, you know, what I'm saying, like, you know, Toronto can't really. I don't know. I get them credit; they got the job done. Yeah, but the whole but point the is that yeah, but Warriors the, State Warriors, yeah. the Warriors wasn't there. Yeah, like, yeah, the Warriors, and I understand that. Like, you know who the I'm hell saying? is uh, Steph Curry and Draymond Green? Who the hell is that? What the hell? Is, I mean, yeah, but, but I guess not. But, but you the, see, the, the, but but the whole thing is though, you know, back, going, back to, going back to going back to Kawhi coming to L.A. Like, I feel like. The one-two punch with Brian and AD is already over, like star power. It's already overpowered. Yeah, it There's no way you're going to stop yeah, it. That's, it's not yeah, happening. Know, but those cannons right there. You can try to zone it. I, I guarantee you Brian is just going to break right that there. bullshit down. Brian going to break all that bullshit zone down. Like he, gonna pin, like he gives teams a hard fucking time with his IQ alone. Like it's, it's a wrap. So I like with Kawhi Leonard coming over there, which I don't think he gonna do. I think it'll just be kind of like a bandwagon move. Like okay, Word. I got AD, so now I want to be a part of, 
you know, and it's we about to get a lot of bandwagon, you know, but, guys try to jump on. Look, I hear Carmelo Anthony trying to jump on. I understand that. <coughs> J.R. Smith. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I was going to knock on wood for forget, that one. but don't forget. <laughs> but, but we don't want you, J.R. Yeah. <laughs> and I wish you the best thought, of luck. I heard you be out in L.A. Yeah, I heard you be out in L.A., so, you know, enjoy your time out there. Maybe come catch a game or two, but. We don't want you, brother. Right? I, just I like, can shoot better than you, Jr. Like I can do court, better. But job. like you know what I'm saying, but, but when you said like it might be like a bandwagon thing, they was actually like you know what I'm saying. Like Kawhi was talking, like Kawhi was in the talk of like going over there way before. I, hear, we, like, I, hear, I, hear, I know LeBron yeah, was in talk yeah. with him. Yeah, but yeah, right, Bron, so, Bron, if even if you listen, listen, Brian, you don't need Kawhi. Of Kawhi course not, Kawhi. Kawhi, Kawhi needs you, Kawhi. We I don't want Kawhi. I ain't trying to go against y'all, man. He ain't trying to do it. We know that, man. But but to see what the Golden State Warriors did. Yeah, they added KD to a 73 and 9. Who knows? KD might resign, and you know what I'm saying? Like, Clay Thompson might come back healthy as ever. Them boys might come back like the Monsters they was. I mean, of course. If Leonard, they come back like the Monsters they was, nah, they have another Monster team to finally fight that off. If Kawhi Leonard come to LA, y'all. With the full effect team. Um, you know, y'all know Kevin Durant ain't going nowhere. He's going to stay in Golden State. That's what I'm saying. Best chance to compete so for a championship. If, if he stay in Golden State, Clay Thompson come back healthy, they got their whole Monster team squad right back. Oh, but you know what? Up. Now LeBron ready. <laughs> Try all that goes to stay shit warrior now. We got pieces we, now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you know, you know the NBA can go it. back to being what it was, being dominated by a great player, a great big. You know what I'm saying? Like Stephen Curry really like changed though, what yeah. dominance was. Yeah, like know? I actually because throughout the history of the NBA, you know, dominant teams always had a dominant big. Go to state changed that. They didn't have a dominant big. They had a dominant guard who was a dominant splash guards who was just changing the league. You feel what I'm saying? So like these guys was making three-pointers at a higher level than threes had ever been made throughout the history of the game. And so game plans had to change. Um, you know, actually, people, yeah. you know, people didn't know how to really Just guard to that. Just to like, what you said, like, yeah, like, uh, to actually send a meme on us on IG. And uh, pretty much, like, it was a, uh, a post that said, who was the greatest duo? A uh, duo, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Magic and Kareem or Kobe and Shaq or LeBron and AD. Now, you know what I'm saying, but it's upcoming season. Like, you know who y'all think would be here? You know the best dude. Like it was like a little, just like a little basketball. I mean, but you know, uh, and like you know, just just judging off the picture, bro. <laughs> LeBron and AD looked the daily. I mean, like they most definitely going up against some high comp Kobe and Shaq. You know, Magic and Kareem. But it's like, bro, like LeBron and AD. Like, bro, that's <laughs> hey, come on, now, bro. Like, I get good. it though. I get it. But you know, that's why you know we was talking about it's enough. Like we don't need to add Kawhi Leonard to that mix. You know what I'm saying? I feel like three is a crowd in this situation. Cool, but um, you know, when you got a big three, that third guy has to take a step back from who he actually is. When LeBron had Chris Bosh as his third guy, he became a shell of Chris Bosh. He but, wasn't the actual Chris Bosh for going to Toronto. But by him being the when big LeBron man, had boy. Kevin Love as his third option, Kevin Love became a shell right. of what he was. And with the T-Wolves, he was putting up nasty numbers with it. But when Kobe you're the third option, yeah, you become third a shell. Option. So you think Kawhi Leonard is about to become a shell of Kawhi Leonard? Not Kawhi Leonard. It's not going to be Kawhi Leonard. You, 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 your offense is going to be. It's going to be Anthony Davis. By him being the big man Why court, would he, no, by no. him being the big man court, he's going to step that. Understandable. So hear me out. So now on nights where Kawhi is off and on nights where LeBron is off, then we got AD to just do the yeah, AD thing. He's going to want to have Perfect. Him. Perfect, which is perfectly fine. But like you're gonna see, like they numbers, like are all three of their numbers gonna like continue to like even out, like throughout the series tour. Like you're gonna still see Brian getting his 27. You're gonna still see AD Denner getting his 25, 20 through 30, and Kawhi gonna still get there get his 25 through 30. So it's like they, I mean, like, well, that's 75 right there. This is automatic with them three. But you know, well, I guess I guess what it'll have a real bad trickle down effect on Kyle Kuzma. I guess he'll never see the ball. Somebody that's a young star you want to develop, and he's cool. going mean, to need they, the ball. Or what if they literally like, like he look, should be the third option? He was a great second option last year. What's a great if, second option next to LeBron? Like what if like they literally like LeBron? Like, they gonna have so much talent on that team to where like they can just take turns each night. One night I mean, Kawhi going be to cool. be that man. That'd be One cool. night AD. Can I never seen it actually like, work. Like, I, I, I never seen it actually work. But <laughs> again, I guess we never seen talent like this assembly. Yeah, but like that's a lot of firepower right there, bro. But then again, like we never seen anything like that when the Warriors assembly, like Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, eight. Uh, I feel like, like KD, the, the position Drake, that they played made everything. Boogie, like, like, that was like, a, bro. The whole starting well, five was an All Star team. I feel like the positions that they played made everything easier though. Like Steph being a point guard, okay, I shoot and run and pass. 
you know, Clay being a shooting guard, okay, I'm just going to come off screens and shoot, shoot right. score occasionally. Right. KD a, just being the three, like, yo, oh, shit, you know. I'm going to just spray this bitch saying? Like, you know, right. I'm right over here just in case Clay get jammed up, go right, put me right. the ball. Matter of fact, y'all need a bucket, all right, ISO, be, ISO, right. ISO. You know what I'm saying? They had one main ISO guy. KD was the main ISO guy. The other two guys are shooters. Draymond don't care about shooting. He want to set other guys up. It was a perfect system. So when you try to, uh, you know, run that same scenario in L.A., I just don't see it working out where, you know, where Kawhi said, you know, uh, you know I'm just going to stand over here and shoot. And, I, all right. Or, I mean, like, well, you know, like me personally, like, you know, like I feel like that, that LeBron, that the whole, like, Lakers organization, they're going to just find a way for them all to shine, like, if it comes down to it. Because if y'all watched the All-Star game back in February, LeBron had 19 points. Now, don't get me wrong. It was a nice little 19. He had, nice 19. But Come on, now, it just wasn't enough. You could tell it wasn't enough. Like, bro, we need we needed 30 from LeBron that game. We needed 30. But, um, but then what happened this year, though? At the East one, right? If I'm not mistaken, East one this year. Nah, Le Team LeBron. Won. Team LeBron. Well, Ain't no East well, West. It's yeah, Team but not LeBron the East. versus yeah, Team Giannis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if I only thought East just because of, uh, you would think Giannis back to the loss. Yeah, yeah, right. And the loss and LeBron was on being in the West. Yeah, right, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. I get it, but no, no, no. Nah, so, works. So. Uh, yeah, right. But Team LeBron, you're right. Yeah. I mean, so either way, Team LeBron still won. I know, because it was so much talent that all he was able to grab was 19 points. But that 19, B, but that 19 out of a, a team full of All Stars, you got Kevin Durant on your team, too? Yeah. Like the yeah, second yeah, best player yeah, in the league. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. I know you don't care about numbers, but uh, that hurts your career average, LeBron. If you're going to be averaging 19 with. KD and Kawhi, AD and Kawhi. Uh, do the All Star game do that go against your stats as well? You think? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Like I forgot. Does it? I mean, I don't think the All Star game even count uh, honestly, or do it. it. I, I, yeah. I think it should. I mean, like, I think like they're doing an overall, just like collectively point, but like, yeah, just like, you know, like your season. Then. I don't think that. I don't, I don't know if it go towards it. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna find out though, but. Uh, I mean, because I mean, it should go to your all-time points. It definitely I mean, should yeah. be your all-time points. I say that's the only time that it does, but like just as far as like your season, like average points. Like I don't think it just go towards like your season. Maybe not. You know, to average. Maybe not. But yeah, you know, that's why I said I look it up. But yeah, man, uh, Kawhi to lay. Me personally, I think that'd be an incredible, amazing move. You know what I'm saying? I think it'd be you know like. Just what LeBron need, man. To what? Well, I feel like yeah, he don't not need, need it. but I mean, look, I mean, he don't need it, bro. But like, I feel like that that would just be something that you know that LeBron wouldn't that like, say turn it down in a way either. Like he wouldn't I, be like, oh, like, like, um, we don't want Kawhi. But like, like, he won't say like, he don't want Kawhi. I, I, don't, I just don't. I, I got so much respect for LeBron. I just don't want to hear people running around saying, oh yeah, way too much. He was on the super team. He can't do. It. I don't this have KD. time for the listen, narrative. So listen. So like, so they like, already killing KD with that shit, which is why he's so remember, trying to probably so possibly remember, leave. So remember when like they did form the Miami team? People said, "Oh, it's a super team, whatever the case may be." Then when people formed the Warriors, they saying that, yeah, "Oh, man, well, I just don't want to hear the narrative uh, that LeBron had way too much help." Like I said, KD already getting killed by that noise. Um, I feel like he got just enough to experiment with, and you know, I understand that. Take, you know, take this year yeah, seventeen. But you remember though, like when they formed the formed the team back in Miami, people were saying, like, "Oh, it's not just a super team." So then, like now, when they formed the team and fought the Golden State Warriors, people were saying, "Well, they did it in Miami, so like, why y'all you know, complaining like, about this?" And it's like that's not the same narrative, like in my opinion, like when it comes to the team in Miami versus the team in Golden State Warriors. But now that the Golden State Warriors did what they did, now that makes it okay. For somebody else to form another super team, because the Warriors already done did it, they already done it. They, they pretty much still got a super team right now. If you ask me, like until yeah. KD and uh, Clay get healthy, I think the whole so, league like, already know. Okay. The whole league know this. This would obviously be unfair having Kawhi on the Lakers. The whole league is that. I truly believe Adam Silva wouldn't let it happen. He gets that. He understands that <laughs> Kawhi Leonard is arguably the best player in the NBA right now. And that's on an arguable scale. We know LeBron is arguably the goat, and he wouldn't let that. He just wouldn't let that. You know. Yeah, three yeah. of the top five players yeah, in the NBA I mean, right there on the same yeah. team. He just, I can't. It's it's three too good to be five, true. Dang. We uh, okay, no. I, I didn't think about it that way, no, but I mean, still, like, that would be three of the top five players. Extremely the the awesome. It's too much. It's too, get a, no, that was to happen. Stop it. Stop it, y'all. Hey, I could dream, oh, right? But I know listen, I could dream. Okay, listen. Yeah. Let comment down below. Uh, you know what y'all thoughts are on it. If y'all think that's a good fit, you know, Kawhi in LA. If not, you know, let us know. But, hey man, you know, if you like Kawhi, the video, you want to stay updated on late content, um, straight. like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next one.